Psalm 129, 129, a song of degrees. Many a time, a lot, much time, many a time have they afflicted me from my youth. May Israel, okay, so the, the me is Israel, my is Israel, may Israel now say. And Israel has been afflicted from his youth. There was a time that when uh, early age that it was found that Ishmael was taunting Isaac. And Sarah told Abraham, that kid's got to go. And God told him, yes, don't be sorry. He's got to go. And it, uh, Ishmael, and that part in the Bible we have in the book of Genesis, is the beginning of the battle of the Arabians in Israel. The Arabians, Ishmael, and Isaac, A Abraham, and, and, and Jacob, Israel, they're brothers. They're stepbrothers. Hagar is the mother of Ishmael, the, the servant woman of Sarah. Sarah is the mother of Isaac, and that battle has been going back from you. Moab and Ammon, they're all family with Israel, and they all hate Israel. And that's what the topic of Psalms 129 is, hatred of Israel. Many a time have they afflicted me from my youth. It's repeated, verily, verily. Yet, have, yet they have not prevailed against me. They afflicted, they afflicted. Who are they? All the world. There, there are very few nations that will honor Israel and protect Israel. And there are many nations that are against and have been against Israel. God said, I will bless them that bless you and I will curse them that curse you. Anybody that helps and gives aid to a Jewish person, God will honor and bless them. And anybody who hates the Jew and aggravates the Jew and gives the Jew problems, God says, I'll curse you. And I'll name one organization right now. What's wrong with the KKK, according to the Bible? Not only the fact is they burn crosses, but number one, number one problem with the KKK, they despise the Jew. And God, oh, we're Christian. Oh, no, you're not. When you despise that Jew, you have rejected the, the, the Old Testament before the law. Abraham being called out, Genesis chapter 12. You have despised the law. You have despised the Gospels. You have despised the church age. Because Paul says, pray for the Jews. God, Paul says, go. I mean, Paul says, hey, they're our enemy, but, you know, we're supposed to pray for them. We're supposed to witness to them. Any, any organization that hates and afflicts and gives problem to Israel, you need to get out of it if you're a Bible-believing Christian. And you need not be part of it. Yet they have not prevailed against me, and they're not going to prevail against Israel. They will not win. There are churches today, or religions, let me say, that teach God's all finished with the Jew, God's all tired with Israel, and it is the church that gets the honor and the glory of the promises. That's an outright lie. You need to get out of that religion. You need to get out of that church. The Catholic Church is that spot right there. Why has the Catholic Church gone worldwide and start battles and conflict? Because they're doing what God told Israel to do in the Old Testament. Go out there, conquer. Conquer in the name of Jesus. Conquer in the name of God and gain the land. That's not Gentile. That's Jewish, but in order to get world denominists, 
let's steal a blessing from Israel so we can get that world denominator. Germany and Adolf Hitler tried to, to take down Israel. They failed. Haman tried to take down Israel. He failed. The Antichrist is going to try to take down Israel, and he'll fail. Babylon tried to take down Israel. Babylon's gone. Egypt tried to take down Israel, and they're a whipped nation today. They're, they're, they're whipped. They're, they have no power. So one test. Oh, I, I want, I'm looking for a church. All right, ask the pastor, say, you King James? If they're not King James, that's not your church. Number two, three, or four, when you get eventually down to the questions and say, Pastor, how, where do you stand with Israel? If he stands against Israel in any shape, weight, and form, that's not your church. Many a time have they afflicted me. United Nations afflicts Israel. The Middle East afflicts Israel. The Middle East doesn't even have on their school maps the, Israel as, as a nation. And I was going to say, I almost forgot. When it comes to the, to the second advent in Jesus Christ, he's going to gather two groups of people who are not Jews. We're going to bring the Jews into their promised land like Joshua did. He's going to gather two groups of people. One group is the goat. One group is the sheep. The sheep nation, Jesus said, you've taken care of me, you helped me, you fed me, you visited me in prison, you took care of my medical needs. And they're like, when do we do this to you, Jesus? When you took care of my people. When Paul was persecuting and killing the church, Guess at that point who the church was. Not many Gentiles. They were mostly Jews. And Jesus said, why persecute thou me? There are Gentiles who are going to come out of the tribulation period and they're going to get to go in the millennium because they helped the Jews. They didn't even know what they were doing. And then there's the goat nation. And he says, listen, you didn't help me. You didn't visit me. You didn't take care of me. And they're like, well, when do we not help you, Jesus? When you didn't take care of my people. And those people go off in the lake of fire because they didn't help the Jews. You know why Israel is hated? One reason. Because they're God's people. They have God's promises. Everybody that is of God is hated by the world. Marvel not, my brethren, know that the world, marvel not, my brethren, that the world hates you. Jesus said, uh, know that the world hated me before it hated you. Friend, if, if the world loves you and get, you get along with the world, and you have no aggravation of the world, you got to do one, two things. you got to see if you're really saved. Because you may not be saved. Number two, if you are saved, you are not living according to the Bible. Paul says, all they that live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. How are you not suffering? Either you're not saved or you're not living right. Verse 3. The plowers plowed upon my back. They made long their furrow. That's Jesus Christ. That is Jesus Christ being whipped. By a cat of nine tails, across his back, the, the Bible it, it describes it as a farmer with a plow going out in the fields and digging up that dirt in the rolls that they do, which is called furrows. And the Bible says if you were to look at the back of Jesus, it would have been torn up like the dirt is torn up. You could not paint, you could not draw a picture in the description of Jesus being tortured and suffering for our sin. The Bible says he was beyond recognition. I got a note here, Isaiah 50, verse 6. Let's see what that is. I didn't check it earlier. Let's see what it is. Isaiah 50, verse 6.
It says, I, which would be Jesus. Well, let's, look, let's look at verse 5. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious, neither turned my back. I gave my back to the smiters. There it is. That's what we just read in Psalms 129, verse 3. Smitten. With a cat and nine tails. My cheek to them that plucked off my hair. So Jesus had a beard. And I hid not my face from the shame and spitting. And you read that in the Gospels. The body of Jesus Christ when it was nailed on the cross was a bloody mess. And you can't even, that, that, that's too nice. He was whipped. He was beaten. And it shows up in the after two verses about the affliction that Israel is going to get. And Jesus Christ was afflicted. He suffered for us. Israel's being afflicted, then Jesus was afflicted. The Lord is righteous. Yes, he is. He hath cut asunder the cords of the wicked. Now look at it. He has? No, he hasn't. Now that's an outright lie or that's prophecy. Let me tell you, that's prophecy. The wicked there is the Antichrist. And all the Haman. Hitler, Russia, the Middle East, the Arabians, the Muslims, the Catholics. They're still going out. The Catholic Church is still well. The, the Muslims still well. God, <coughs> excuse me, will cut their cords, their ropes, and they'll fall to the ground. They'll fall into hell. They'll be, they're hanging by a thread right now and God one day will cut that thread. Who are the wicked? Those that afflicted Israel and those that plowed the plow upon Jesus' back. Let them all be confounded and turn back that hate Zion. There's that hatred for Israel, verses 1 and 2. Zion is the mountain of, of, of Israel, Jerusalem. If you hate Israel, turn back. That's not the proper way to go as a Christian. Go forward. Paul says, press towards the mark. When the guy's taking a bow and arrows, he doesn't shoot the bow and arrows behind him. He shoots him in front of him. Those that hate Zion are not going to prosper. Those that hate Jews will not prosper. If you hate Jews, God does not love you. Is that plain to simple? Whether you be an individual, you be a religion, you be an education, you be a country, whatever group you are, if you hate Israel and the Jews, you're hated by God. You need to repent and get right with God. Let them, those that hate Zion, be as grass upon the housetop. Now they're flat roofs. And seeds within time would fall upon those roofs, but they wouldn't grow much because there's no dirt. And this is almost like the parable of the sower in Mark chapter 4. You know, the seeds landed. It came up when the sun came out. They were scorched. When the fire, they'll be scorched. There may be little seedlings of little plants that hate Israel and hate Jesus Christ and hate God. They're not going to last long. 
which withers afore it grows up. So before he becomes a, a plant, it dies before it becomes a plant. It doesn't get water. It doesn't get the nutrients. Wherewith the mower, as someone comes along and cuts the grass, that's the only place mower shows up in the Bible. Where do you think you've got the name for your, lawn, your lawnmower? Let them be as grass within the mower. When you say, hey, can I borrow the lawnmower, or I'm looking for a lawnmower, or I got a lawnmower business, you are using the King James Bible. Do you believe the King James Bible? No. What are you going to use to cut your grass today? I'm going to use the lawnmower. I don't even check. I wonder what modern Bibles say about it. You believe God is is God and Jesus Christ is, is Jesus Christ and God. He's the way of salvation. Absolutely not. I got whatever I got. Uh, what are you going to use to cut your grass today? I'm going to use a lawnmower. You're taking from God's word. People today use words that come from God's word and they don't even know it. By the skin of their teeth, I believe that was Job. To be the apple of their eye, that's describing Israel. Wherewith the mower filleth not his hand. He doesn't have enough grass to do nothing. And he would go cut the grass for hay and for food, vegetation, for the animals. He ain't got nothing. For he that bindeth his bed, nor he that bindeth the sheaths for his bosom. There's not enough. The wicked are not enough. They're of no purpose to God. They're, they don't feed animals. You can't use them for bedding. They would use grass and all that for bedding. It's not enough. Though Israel be as the stars of the heaven, though Israel be as the sand of the seashore. Neither do they, th those that hate Zion, those that hate the Jews, neither do they which go by, they're passing on through life, say, the blessing of the Lord be upon you, the Jewish people. We bless you, the Jewish people, in the name of the Lord. The enemies of Israel don't say, God bless you. May Jehovah take care of you. No, they would say, Allah, in all those strength, we're going to kill them. In the name of the Pope, we're going to destroy that nation. Or whatever gods that nation is that's against Israel. By our God, by our ways, by our, our means to get fuel from the Arabs, they don't bless Israel. You're not going to find anybody in the United Nations Assembly blessing Israel in the name in the name of the Lord. That can't be the Catholics because the name of their Lord is, is the Pope or Mary. Mary's got more power than God because she's able to save your soul, according to the Catholic fly. It's sure not with the Muslims because their Lord is not Jesus, it's not Jehovah, it's Allah. And they go up to a Jew, which they wouldn't, but, you know, say, I bless the Israel nation by our God, Allah. It's not it. Now, I support a missionary that goes over Israel, and I pray, Lord God, help those people, help them to reach your people in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of salvation. Save them. The enemies of Israel are not going to use the name of Israel's God. Because the names of Israel, the enemies of Israel don't have the God. Of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I do. My Savior, Jesus Christ, is also the Messiah of the Jews. And many Jews don't even believe that today. 